hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before in case this is your first time watching one of my videos hi i'm leslie i'm so glad to have you here on my channel i talk about all things luxury in particular handbags but i cover a wide range of topics i film unboxings reviews comparison videos shopping vlogs which keep that in mind for a second um, but also like travel vlogs london vlogs as i recently moved to london but uh, yeah if any of that sounds like a thing i would love for you to consider subscribing Rewinding, I did mention shopping vlogs. Today is going to be one of them. I mean, you probably know that already from the title and the thumbnail. But yeah, I realized like a couple of days ago that I have like half a Saturday unaccounted for, which I can't be having. <laughs> so the plan for today is to head out to New Bond Street and like stroll around a couple of boutiques. I realized that up until now, I think I've exclusively gone to Harrods and Selfridges when it comes to luxury boutiques, not like any standalone um, boutiques, which it's kind of weird because there are so many all over London. So I'm going to tackle that today and yeah, see what's new, see what's out. Um, I'm not too sure yet where we're going to go inside. I'm kind of intrigued by Dior, maybe Fendi, maybe Bulgari because um, <laughs> I do have my Serpenty Forever on me today because I thought I'm wearing kind of like a, a light colored outfit, wearing light jeans and this like bomber jacket that I got from the Ted Baker sample sale like a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, I think we're just going to figure out uh, along the way which brands we're going to check out and yeah, see all the new releases and you're coming with me if you want to, of course. But yeah, before I ramble on any further, let's head out the door to check out some luxury goodies. So first and foremost, because I completely forgot to mention that in the intro for some reason, I didn't go by myself, I went with Hannah. You might be familiar with Hannah from a video like a couple of weeks back where we went to Harrods and the Victorian Albert Museum to check out the Diva exhibition. All of her links will be below, as will be the link to the Harrods and V&A vlog if you haven't checked that out yet. So Hannah also does uh, YouTube, her channel is So Much Design with Hannah. And yeah, we decided to meet up again and hopefully there will be many more meetups uh, to come. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so appreciative of the fact that YouTube creates those kind of uh, friendships because without YouTube, we would have never met. This was actually the first time Hannah went into a Ferragamo boutique, um, as she recalls at least. But um, yeah, we had such an amazing time inside Ferragamo. I think it's their flagship boutique. I'm actually not 100% sure if this boutique or the one on New Bond Street is their only standalone boutique. Uh, in London or if there's like another one maybe in like the Chelsea Sloan Street area but um, yeah seeing as the New Bond Street uh, boutique is definitely their flagship boutique they did have quite the selection and a lot of like new designs that I hadn't seen before of course they had their like classic bags the top handle ones a lot of wonder bags so the one like with the clasp that's inspired by like an old design and the old design was named after Ferragamo's wife so obviously they did have a lot of their staple designs but one bag that really caught my attention is the hug bag um, which I think is quite a fitting name the SA told us that uh, there's basically two reasons why it's called the hug bag so number one is I guess the more obvious one, the sangles, I want to say, um, where the clasp on the front attaches, like on either side, kind of look like, yeah, the bag is hugging itself with those sangles kind of being like the arms, I guess. But also uh, she said that on the runway, the um, models tucked in the top handles, which kind of pains me to think because, I mean, they're not supposed to be tucked in, but yeah, that's also like kind of like a hugging aspect I guess but yeah it's called the hug bag comes in two different sizes the one that I tried on is the smaller size but it's still like very spacious and a great like I'd say everyday bag not so much like an evening bag because especially when you wear it like on the shoulder or crossbody it sticks out quite a bit because the bag is kind of deep so maybe not like your go-to evening bag ish but I mean you can make it work
Next up, Dior. And one thing I learned on that day, which really caught me by surprise, to be honest, is apparently, if memory serves me right, the Dior boutique on New Bond Street is the third largest Dior boutique like across the globe, which I didn't really expect because from the outside, like from memory, it's not like a super high building. But boy, was I wrong because not only is the Dior boutique very deep and the deeper you go, like at some point on the left hand side, there are, I think, two extensions. So one extension, which is beautifully lit with like tons of natural light where the home section, so especially tableware, all of like their beautiful china is. And then even further on the left hand side is the children's section. So even that of course, it's a lot of space, but like the main store um, premises have three floors, I believe. So basement, ground floor and two like upper floors. One thing that might need a little improvement or it's a conscious decision by Dior, who knows, is that when you try to film, apart from the like um, natural light section where the homeware is, the lights flicker big time, like very noticeably, which is kind of a shame. So I didn't get to film that much inside the Dior boutique. So to kind of make up for the fact that I didn't get to film that much on that particular visit, but I'm planning to go back to the Dior boutique. Now I know that it's like such a massive building. And to make up for the lack of footage from that uh, boutique, I decided to throw in some footage from Harrods that I think I filmed like towards the end of June, but um, the bags that I did take a look at are very new releases. So still very much relevant, um, if I do say so myself. So these two bags are fairly new and I'm kind of obsessed with both of them, especially the first one. So uh, this is called the CD Signature Oval Camera Bags, something along those lines. Such a cute bag, very spacious, um, considering it's still like a tiny or like mini bag essentially, but yeah, love that. Also like, yes, it's a large logo, but seeing as the logo has the same like leather color and texture as the rest of the bag, it's not like an in your face logo. So that's beautiful, but also the bucket bag, so cute. <laughs> By the way, Hannah also filmed a shopping vlog, which she has already uploaded. So I'm going to make sure to link that in the description box below. Next up was Bulgari. I do sound like a broken record because I've sung Bulgari's praises um, more often than I care to admit, but the leather is amazing. Colors, attention to detail, like the hardware on the bags is essentially jewelry. Feels so high quality and the way the chain moves, it's just, incredible. If you haven't had a chance to check out Bulgari bags, I'd highly suggest you do and smell them because I know that's super weird, but uh, it's also not the first time I'm saying that their bags just smell incredibly good. I don't know what it is, but anyway, unfortunately I didn't get too much footage inside Bulgari, but I'm also planning to go back and hopefully checking out the first floor and their selection up there. And the last stop of the day, Cartier, which was kind of like an impromptu thing because originally I had only gone inside the boutique like briefly to get the cord on my Trinity cord bracelet exchanged. But while I was waiting for like the cord to be ready, I did check out a few bags and I want this space to be like a positive one. So I'm gonna keep it short. I'm not overly convinced um, and impressed when it comes to Cartier handbags, especially after having checked out Bulgari bags again. And Bulgari also like originally comes from jewelry making and handbags is like an additional thing that they do. Same applies to Cartier, but there's like a massive, like humongous difference when it comes to the quality of their bags, especially comparing the hardware. Hardware and the chains on the Cartier bags felt very flimsy. If you have any kind of experience when it comes to Cartier leather goods, handbags in particular, I would love to hear your thoughts. I've heard from like a couple of different sources from people that used to own Cartier bags that they weren't overly impressed with the quality and how they were holding up. Plus, I mean, it's a given that um, they are not going to hold their value like whatsoever. So there you have it. While I'm playing some leftover footage from Strathbury inside Burlington Arcade, I passed through there and spotted something in the window. So I did take a peek. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, I would love for you to consider subscribing if you haven't already. Maybe this was your first time watching one of my videos. If it was, I really hope I convinced you uh, to subscribe, but no pressure whatsoever. 
But um, yeah, even if this is like your second, third, fourth video and you haven't subscribed yet, maybe this video pushed you over the edge. Um, maybe it didn't and that's perfectly fine as well. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, let me know your thoughts. And um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna see you in one of my next videos. Bye. Mm -hmm.